so now you can see I'm able to actually download the uh, or upgrade the modules but still keep in mind if you if you are not a tech if you are not a technical person I will recommend do not upgrade your PBX from the uh, free PBX from the PBX GUI module or from anywhere do not uh, just uh, end up with something you don't know and you came across like you can't do anything so don't do the upgrade by yourself this is really a critical matter especially when you are in you are running a production server so this was my production server and i really uh, and I, I will always recommend to perform any activity any uh, activity you want to perform just perform it on the weekend uh, take your precautionary measures take your precautionary steps uh, preventive measures take backups and anything you want and now uh, even I changed the name of the file before that I updated uploaded everything uh, like recordings and the monitor and the backup and everything from the uh, school directory to the S3 storage so keep in mind this so these are the final things, final steps are going on and I'm pretty sure that uh, I will be able to uh, fix this issue permanently and uh, I will be like ending up with the uh, FreeBBX 16 now. Uh, but the only thing I just uh, I am worried about, worried about is uh, the endpoint manager module it's still not updated or installed and uh, as I came to know that uh, in 3 PBX 16 the, they just changed or oh, I don't know what they did with the endpoint manager module so um, there are a lot of phones which needs to be stable and uh, when the PBX came back up they needs to be uh, like automatically connected or registered to the PBX. So let's see. I'll update you after this. What happened?